Hey guys, it's Tynamai, and today I'm gonna be ranking the office characters based on how good their work ethic is. Let's get right into it. First up, we got Andy. I'm gonna put Andy in actually works. Like, even though he's an awful worker and he has, like, the lowest sales, like, every quarter, I guess is what they do. He still, he still does some work. Like, you know, he, go, he goes on sales pitches and stuff like that, but he's definitely not dedicated. I mean, at one point he punches his hand through the wall. Like, he could be a better employee, but I'm gonna put him in actually works. Next up, we have Toby, and Toby is definitely not dedicated. I mean, just looking at his face, that's not a dedicated, motivated face right there, but I'm gonna put him in actually works because he does do his job, even though he doesn't like it. He says he hates his job. He does actually work, so I'm gonna put him there. Next up, Angela. I'm gonna say does the bare minimum because I don't think she does anything that's, like, a fireable offense, but the thing is with Angela is, like, at one point, she has a monitor just watching her, like, 83 cats at home. Like, I mean, that, that to me does not seem like... Not necessarily, you know, dedicated worker, but I'd say she definitely does enough to keep her job. Next up, Stanley is really close to should be fired, but I'm gonna put him in lazy. He does crossword puzzles all day. Actually, no, he does yell at Michael a few times. Like Stanley, Earth is Stanley. Not me. Yes, you. Come on, Stanley, put your little game down and and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do having a little Leave brain. Me alone, damn we're it. having a brainstorm session. Did I stutter? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna put him in should be fired. He's he's kind of he's definitely lazy. I, I, I don't take away from that. He's the laziest person in the office, but he definitely should be fired. I'm gonna put Daryl in dedicated. That's definitely like warehouse Daryl. Like he gets promoted, you know, because he's such a good worker and he, he actually cares about his job. I feel like when he's in the warehouse, so I'm gonna put him in dedicated. But there's definitely some moments where he does the bare minimum or, or is lazy. But I'm gonna put him in dedicated. Next up, I'm gonna put Creed. Definitely in should be fired. I mean, Creed. If you asked him like the title of his job right now, he wouldn't know. I mean, quality assurance, right? Like, really, what do I do here? I, mean, I should have written it down. Qua something. Qua, 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 bo, qua, 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 body, qua, body, ashwins. No, 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 but I'm getting close. He has no idea what he does. He, he doesn't know anybody's names. Like, he's, not that he should be fired, like he has fireball offenses. He literally doesn't even know what he does as a job. He's just such a cartoon character in the show. Definitely should be fired. Next up, we got Meredith. I'm going to put her in should be fired, and we're going to move on from it pretty quick, but she's definitely done some stuff that goes against, uh, you know, HR and what they would like her to do. Even though I do think Jim does the bare minimum and should keep his job, I'm definitely going to put him in lazy because he's just there because Pam and to prank Dwight. Question. What kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat beets. Oh. Bears. Beets. Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not... What is going on? What are you doing? That's about all. That's that's pretty much the reason Jim's there. Definitely does the bare minimum, but I'm gonna put him in lazy. I'm gonna put Kelly in lazy. She doesn't do the bare minimum to keep her job, so maybe she should be fired, but she's kind of just there to stir the pot, but whatever. Next up, we have Erin, and though no, I'm gonna put her in actually works. Like, it's kind of hard to be, like, dedicated to your job as a receptionist. Like, she just kind of answers phones, finds paperclips for Michael. Oh, my God. What? According to the internet, the tallest man in the world is Chinese. So much for keeping our secrets up high. But, you know, she, she definitely works. I mean, it's kind of hard not to work. Like, you're just gotta reach across the desk, grab a little phone. But, you know, Aaron works. Kevin should absolutely be fired. We find out late in the show that he uses his own made-up number, Kalevin. Uh, is that what it is? But, I mean, come on. The, the guy's useless. They don't need three accountants in the office. Angela does hardly anything. Kevin does nothing. Oscar really... I'm gonna move on to him next. He is dedicated to his job. He is probably the best worker in the office. I'd say he does. No, definitely Dwight. But Oscar is definitely dedicated. He knows what he's doing, unlike Kevin, who should definitely be fired. I'm gonna say Pam actually works. She, she was the receptionist for about half the show. I guess a little bit more than half. I, kinda, I don't know. I mean, she's, she's also bad at her job like Andy is, but I put Andy in actually works. I'm not really sure where to put Pam. I'm gonna put her in actually works, though. Now, Dwight is the epitome of dedicated. And I, I like to use epitome. That's like a word I like to use in my tier list videos. What is the most inspiring thing I ever said to you? Don't be an idiot. Changed my life. But Dwight truly is the epitome of dedicated. He, there's nobody that cares about his paper sales job more than Dwight Schrute. Absolute beast of a co-worker. Great employee. Definitely gonna go and dedicated. Next up is Phyllis. Phyllis? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we really get to see Phyllis working that often. She does a lot of party planning committee kind of things. I'm gonna just to say, I was, wow, <laughs> almost stroked out there, but we're all right. Um, does the bare minimum for Phyllis, and moving on to Ryan, 
who was fired at a few points. So I don't even know if there's a spot for Ryan because like he's is he the only person on this list that has been fired at some point? I guess Dwight got fired at one point. Kind of forgot about that one. But I'm going to put Ryan in lazy. He's definitely done some things around the office that shouldn't keep him fired. I don't know. Ryan's a weird one because he's been fired before, went to jail before. Definitely a weird character. And then Michael Scott. Now, here's the thing. Michael Scott absolutely should be fired. Like, like I'm sorry. He, Michael Scott has just impressions that should not, don't, just shouldn't take place in the workplace. He is a disaster. If you watch the show, you know Michael Scott should not have a job. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see next. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend.